yeah, I was uh, looking for something, I think, you know, something big. So, of course, I always loved jazz and I always played music. I was young, so I didn't know anything. I don't know nothing now, but back then, <laughs> you know, even less. Um, so I was looking for answers and I think I get some answers, you know, I get some some things that I wanted to find, so I was definitely looking for jazz. When I was really a kid and I was very, I mean, I can't say brave or crazy or naive, but anyway, all those things. You were all those to make yeah, that move, yeah. Yeah, took me here. I mean, when I think back at that moment, I'm like, how did I do it? I had like, you know, a little bit of money that I earned by working and but it was maybe a thousand bucks. That's all I had. Mm. And then I didn't speak English. I didn't know anybody here. I found what I was looking for immediately. I was very determined. You know, I was like, I'm going to go there and it's either I make it work or that's it. You know? Well, you say you found what you're looking for. Okay. Yeah. I mean, you know me now mm -hmm. and I mellowed out a lot. Uh, but when I was a kid, I was very extreme and I was very uh, challenging oriented kind of person. So I was like, okay, it's either I make it in a month or I'm not gonna make it and it's okay. <laughs> so the minute I landed, I'm like looking for things to do. The next day I was like going to jam sessions and, and stuff. And when you have that thing in you, that fire, you do find stuff. So I found Actually, I was found myself by a person that heard me singing and he was like striked and he gave me money. He gave me $3,000 and I was like, man, see, the American dream, it really is really working. But then, we you know, we did a little demo thing and, uh, and then he subscribed a, a contract to my attention and the contract was like, are you serious? You know, he was like, no, nah, no, thank you. I, you know, he didn't I would know not he... give up my life yeah, for a record. He didn't you know. know who he was dealing with, even though you were young. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I mean, that happened to me, unfortunately, many times. You know, mm -hmm. people think that you are in their hands yes. because they offer you, yeah, your thing. You know, you're waiting for that, but still, you know, well, I know a I, lot more. I, the thing is that. From day one, I one of the many things that I was looking for, I found, which was, I knew this was the place for me. Because it gave me that freedom, it gave me that <coughs> wild feeling that I was always looking for, like every other place felt so small, every other place felt so tight, and like, I'm not a person that likes to give uh, explanations, you know, and so, <laughs> I like to be left alone. Like the other day when I was walking around and I didn't have a cell phone on me yet because I didn't see you yet and my Italian cell phone was not working, I finally had that feeling of like, no one knows where I am right now. I'm just walking in the street. I could do whatever I want with my life. When I came here, I had that feeling like big going with me for the next like four or five years so mm -hmm. that's what i really liked about being here mm -hmm. even more than the music yeah i could be anything I, that feeling of like being completely you could be whatever so the best thing you can do is just to be yourself mm -hmm. two, two, one, two.
The things you deal with, the frustration, the disappointment, the rejection, the having to struggle pretty much all the time to pay your bills. I could not handle that. What is it in you women that, or you particularly, that how do you overcome all that? How do you deal with that? It, it's not easy. It's not easy, of course it's not easy. Um, it's, um, it's a balance of things, like, uh, so life always gives you uh, a possibility to look at things one way or the other way. So, for example, when you get re rejected from like a project or they're not answering for a gig or you're not getting the calls that you would like to get or some people don't like what you're doing, which is like very, why not, right? Um, and they tell you that. Um, or you know you are not being able to deliver the message. That's usually the biggest frustration of all. It's like I'm not being able to make you understand what I'm doing. And it's usually your fault, you know. So you really have to, like the only way to keep on going is to detach, you know, and understand that life goes quickly and you can enjoy it or be miserable and so in the end till now the first answer won for me so I don't like to be miserable for more than five minutes.
artist is a great chance you have in life, you know, and not everybody is so lucky to, like, I was born with this, like, I was born with this. I always sang, I always played an instrument. I, you know, I started playing the violin when I was freaking five years old and before I wanted to play the piano and before I always sang, you know, it's like, it's almost like it's a blessing and it's mm -hmm. uh, the opposite, mm -hmm. you know, it's like you're c condemned. To yes. Do no, anything. you're not condemned. It's a blessing for you. Yeah, yeah, but so <laughs> when it's not good, you yeah, know, you're yeah. condemned, but anyway, so I think that's a great chance you have in life and like all these rejections and stuff and like life it's really hard and you never make enough money and I'm, I mean it's really hard to I don't even want to be rich and you know whatever I would just like be to be good established point. a little bit you know and be okay I don't have to worry for next month let me worry for six months from now five months from now that would be already like allows you to experiment and there is like unlimited ways that you can do one thing and that's really incredible so when you actually are doing it you really don't know what's gonna happen at least in my case like and that's why I sing the way I sing it's like I don't only like to sing for the you know singing I like to go places. So if you close your eyes, you can follow what's going on within the musicians in that moment. Now that's what I look for. I look for like different roots. I look for colors in my brain. I look for stars. I look for the ground. I look for water, soil, emotion. You know, and that's why I like to sing the way I sing. Even though they try to make me stop, and I've tried to stop that too, but I can't help it because that's what I, I like. You well, know, the open, unlimited possibilities.
that's the best part to me and that's exactly why I do music. Um, to me it's even more than songwriting actually so I really much enjoy like the songwriting process but as I was saying the part that I enjoy the most is the physical part of making music like playing music together. So there is something invisible happening and I mean back in the days they used to do heavy drugs I think it's the same thing I mean I've never done heavy drugs I swear <laughs> but I for what I you know read I can <clears throat> imagine it's almost the same thing because like what heavy drugs do to you is like you it opens paths that otherwise you wouldn't see and that that's it you know it's almost that like you see a door opening that it's not there but you just see it and you can go there and that's what happens when the music works you know all of a sudden you see a door in front of you and you just go and then you walk in and there is whatever other doors sometimes or sometimes it's like outer space or sometimes it's like you know a field with flowers and another time it's like nothing so that that's exactly how i feel when i sing yeah it's really it's a feeling that i mean i lose the control of my body like usually when i stop singing or like a, a song ends it's like you get back into your body you know it's like you really get out of the body it's it, it's in t I love it. It's really like, I don't know, I, it's very psychedelic to me, you know. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's a moment where you are, again, it, it's like really a, a yoga exercise. It's like you detach from everything. It's a moment where you have no thoughts. You have no awareness of your body, of who you are, of what you are with, or of your mom, of your, n there's nothing real you know what i mean it's like mm -hmm. and that's what i like like the other night with sandra albert we unfortunately did not rehearse that much but we have that you know we know how to look for that road you know i remember the first time i felt that thing i was like i was maybe 14 and it was a very big concert and i was like not sure of myself i just started singing and my friend, the piano player, very young too, so we're like very scared. And I think I even had a fever that day. I was so scared. But we started to play, and something was like took me away. And the, the next thing I know is that I opened my eyes, and people were like nuts. And I was like, all right, I'm gonna do that again. Yeah. That's why. I don't consider myself a good performer because I don't perform. Right. Mine is not a performance. It's like communication. Mine is a th I do the thing, you know, uh -huh. it's not a performance, it's not a show. It's a I do it. You know what I mean? Yeah.
Jesus shed on the piano. She take water on the bed. Mauricio Zitarelli on drums. And I just want to say that it's a great pleasure for me to be here tonight because I haven't been around for a couple of years. And this is the first time we're playing together after such a long time and I'm so very happy. Thank you. I know it sounds funny but I just can't stand the pain. Cause I'm leaving you tomorrow Seems to me, boy, you know I've done all I can You see, I begged, stole, and I borrowed oh, oh. That's why I'm me I'm easy like Sunday morning 